Welcome to MJ Miniature Worlds, everyone. Welcome to my brand new channel. This is the very first introductory video for this channel. Now, I hope that this channel will grow. This channel will be dedicated to nature and critters. Critters, all kinds of critters, okay? Uh, but first and foremost, uh, the focus of the channel will be on my little terrariums. And the reality is, you, you'll probably hear me calling them terrariums. Uh, the reality is, for the most part, they're not all uh, terrariums. They're actually vivariums. Um, and we're going to be focusing on the critters, the things that are growing in there. I'm going to be filming, uh, looking for uh, many different ways to film a lot of these really small critters that live in these little miniature worlds that I've created. Um, so, instead of trying to explain verbally, why don't we see some of the miniature landscapes in these worlds? Before I go into my uh, little miniature worlds, uh, here is a picture of one of my feeders. Um, I will be adding a couple more and uh hopefully this will give a little change of pace to the channel there's the cardinal that uh comes visits uh this year okay and uh you can tell that it's pretty windy i mean his feathers are uh fluffing up and everything and this is from the window of my studio i have another channel uh with more subscribers and i have the feeder right in front of that window so this will give this channel uh, a little change of pace so for anyone interested in birds, there you go. So my little worlds, uh, this is a, a view, a picture of them, of the setup. There are 16 little jars and uh, containers that I have built. This is all very, very low, low budget. Okay. And from time to time, I will have videos that show how I make the different uh, little worlds and how I film them. I worked in the field of environmental science and wildlife biology for 16 years uh, and so I have some experience identifying uh, invertebrates. That was uh, mostly what I did. I also did a lot of work with birds. So yeah, I would share some of that experience in, in videos and such. Um, and uh, one of my favorite resources is bugguide.net. Okay, and there are several that I go to, but uh, this is one of my favorite, and that's what we will use on this channel. Okay, and now this is the, these are the mini cliffs of Aquarius. This is one of my little worlds. We also have uh, tons of moss fields. This is Weevil Haven. There are se several little weevils uh, living in this mossy plain. So uh, the critter cam, while it searches for critters, you can kind of just sit back and see the landscape, the miniature landscapes. The isopod realm is probably uh, one of the most uh, varied uh, realms that I have. Um, it, this is uh, one of the isopods here that I was filming uh, during my practice runs. There are some 3,700 species of isopods identified so far in the world. That's a lot of species. And uh, these are terrestrial crustaceans. Uh, isopods also have um, a marine species and freshwater species. By the way, the 3,700 that I said were uh, mostly terrestrial. Okay, so terrestrial isopods. Now here in, the, in this world, in our little world here, um, isopods are very common. There are three containers, three little worlds with isopods. And uh, this is the primary isopod realm. It's a fairly large container and there are quite a few isopods living in it. And they're just starting to uh, come out of their crevices because it's been very cold. Um, the warmth of the room has now triggered their uh, activity. And so you will probably see a lot of isopod films as we try to identify the different critters. And uh, we're just going to see, you know, what they do. They're very, very active. So it's going to be cool trying to uh, getting to film these critters up close. And uh, there is the gastropod kingdom. 
this is a little section called Snail Island, and there is a pulmonate snail uh, moving about. About so, and there is some uh, mossy field here in this little habitat. And uh, we will hopefully learn more of Gastropod Kingdom and its underwater component. Uh, this little individual crawled out a couple of days ago as well. Uh, spiders are also uh, in the collection, and this is a small uh, spider that I will be identifying, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, if you want to leave your comments, if you know what a critter is, you have experience with identification, uh, let me know in the comments and, and just give me a little resource. Uh, and I, it would be great. It would be a great help. And uh, this is the young of a tiger moth. And it would be cool to see if he develops actually into a chrysalis, if he develops into a moth. And I could actually film that and then release him because uh, there's no sense of keeping them. Uh, none of the worlds are big enough to uh, house them once he turns into a tiger moth. So he would be released. In fact, he may be released very soon. Okay, and he just crawled out the other day, a couple of days ago. Night mode, uh, this is something I do with some of my worlds, and basically uh, this seems to encourage some invertebrates to come out. And uh, basically all I put is a Tupperware lid over the container, a blue Tupperware lid, and it changes the color. And I also use red, changes the color of the light, and some uh, little critters seem to, to come out when that happens. And there's a hanging weevil. Uh, these weevils were first noticed uh, about three days ago. And uh, there's also a jumping spider there, a salticid, and that is Phidippus. You'll get to know Phidippus uh, quite well, hopefully. And there's two Phidippus. This is one of two. And I haven't really looked into them or identified them or uh, done anything. They, they're just starting to become active. And there is a, a picture, a closer picture of Phidippus. So again, you will uh, see Phidippus uh, a lot more. Uh, he is one of the, they are one of the stars of the little worlds. Some of my favorite spiders too. Uh, some mites. Uh, I started noticing a few soil mites. And this is in one of the uh, smaller worlds. One of the little jars. Uh, this is about the size of a mason jar. And uh, this little critter was noticed while I was doing some practice filming. So yeah, we'll, the critter cam will be looking for critters like this. Okay, And here's a globular mite uh, crawling about. So uh, very interesting how these uh, little uh, worlds are starting to wake up. So again, uh, while the critter cams look for critters, and it's not, uh, I can't guarantee that I'll uh, find any, um, you can enjoy the miniature landscapes. I mean, look at these mini landscapes. This one has a little drip tip, and I'll be talking about how I make these things. Again, very, very low, low budget. And uh, here, this one, it rains inside of it. It's a very simple uh, setup. And there's a little water uh, stream that fills up on the bottom. Again, you can enjoy the miniature landscapes. There's nothing in here yet. Uh, I don't think nothing is woken up yet. So, And here is the underwater realm that I call Cambria of the Gastropod Kingdom. And I call it Cambria because it's my favorite uh, geolog period in geological history. And it was also the first setup out of the 16 terrariums that I built, uh, this was the first one. So I named it Cambria because it is one of my favorite uh, geological time periods, okay? So uh, we will learn more. And these are freshwater copepods. Lots of them in there. So filming is going to be a big thing, and I've, I've made some of my own little filming gadgetry to hold the cameras and, and all this stuff. So uh, I may have a little video in the future where I show all that. Uh, this is some of my uh, equipment. 
I do have a little microscope that hooks up to the phone. There is an app that goes with it. Um, I will review little products like this at times for people that may be interested in doing their own experiments with their own little uh, vivariums or terrariums. So uh, look out for that. Uh, the channel, I do have a lot of plans for the channel, um, but the focus will be the critters and the vivariums and uh, we'll see what else uh, can be uh, thrown in there. All right, folks. Well, I hope that you will come and subscribe to the channel and join me in this journey. Um, I hope to have some cool trips, my health uh, depending, and hopefully uh, we can also document some of those trips and, and show some fun stuff, you know. Uh, it, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. If the channel does well, then uh, hopefully when we get to the point that there could be polls or a community tab, then of course that will open up more and more possibilities to show pictures, to show other things related to the miniature worlds, but also to any of my natural adventures okay i do hope to film outside as well so i will supplement the uh vivarium material uh with content outside as well even in my garden you know i have a lot of critters visiting our flower areas there's a lot of butterflies uh, things like that so anything that i can film outside will supplement whatever is going on here in the miniature worlds okay and uh so hopefully uh you'll come uh, join me and uh thank you very much guys i am mj from miniature worlds we'll talk very soon in the next video